neither he nor King Jerome of West India were pleased. And Van Damme had served under then General Jerome Bonaparte. This had not gone well. The Emperor knew full well that Van Damme had problems with every commanding officer he served under. In fact, Napoleon is allegedly to have said, if I had two Van Dams, I'd have one of them shot and, and keep the other, because I need good generals on the battlefield. The Emperor had been satisfied with Van Dams' handling of German troops in 1807 and again in 1809. Now for the third time, Van Dam was giving her two troops. The Eighth Corps was one of three corps that would form the right wing of the Grand Dame. In, in, uh, on the 22nd of April, Jerome was given overall command of the right wing of the army. He had three corps under his command, the 5th, the 7th, the 8th, and the 4th Corps of Capitol. This meant that Van Damme would be serving under Jerome's direct orders for the second time. Their meeting in April was formal. Van Damme took command of his new troops. After reviewing them, he wrote to Marshal Alexander Berthier, who was the chief of staff of the French army, that they were in very good condition. He then moved his eighth corps into the Duchy of Warsaw, but within a few weeks, problems began to arise. The supply system did not keep pace with the marching troops, and the peasants fled into the into the forest, taking with them their food and their livestock. Thus, the army was unable to obtain much of the way of food or fodder by the ordinary means of purchase or by losing them. As early as the 22nd of April, General Adam Bala, commander of the 24th Division of the 8th Corps, wrote to Davout, uh, wrote to Van Damme, telling him that there was not enough food for the troops for the next day. Unable to acquire the necessary food for the troops and the farmers for the horses uh, from the local region in which they were traveling, Van Damme wrote to Jerome, informing the king that the supply system had broken down and was a complete failure. While the Eighth Corps was, was combing the countryside and passed through for food, the supply officer, the chief supply officer, uh, to pay a relative of the king, was with the king's court at Pensada at the Central Europe. And then later, King's court in Warsaw. An angry Van Damme wrote to him and said, I am astonished that I don't see you anymore up here with the troops. It is not from the court that you are able to assess the needs of the army. You should be up here with the fighting men. The criticism of the king's cousin only worsened the relationship between Jerome who sharply rebuked Van Damme, his ordinance. He declared that Van Damme was not carrying out his orders and that he must do so. Even General Gabriel Marchand, Van, uh, Jerome's chief of staff, complained that Van Damme was not keeping him informed of the movements of the Eighth Corps. By the end of May, Jerome was writing to his brother, complaining of Van Damme. Uh, 
As a result of this, uh, Marshal Berthier, on behalf of the Emperor, wrote the following to uh, Monsieur le General. The Emperor has ordered me to inform you that he is extremely displeased with the manner in which you are handling the troops under your command. The Emperor orders you to reestablish order in the war and to continue the war. And now replied to Berthier to justify his handling of, the, of this war. The problem, he said, is that the supply system had broken down and that the troops were not being fed. Furthermore, he said that the Seventh Corps had preceded him, had preceded the Eighth Corps, and that they had in fact taken everything that was moving. And now, who entered the campaign with the reputation of not getting along with his superiors, did not enhance his position at headquarters. With the Grand Army uh, moving into position in June to begin the campaign, Napoleon hoped uh, and planned for an early battle that would settle the war. The main army that he commanded, that say the Emperor commanded uh, directly, faced the, uh, the Russian army of General Marshal Macleod de Tavares. He had the key commander to the first army, Russian army of the West. While Jerome, the Greek army corps, faced the second Russian army of the West to the South, under the command of General Peter Bagas. There was also a, another French corps up in the north on the Baltic, and an Austrian corps south of Jerome, but they did not have much effect upon the campaign. On the 23rd of June, the invasion began. The main army crossing the Denver uh, River at Kosovo. Uh, However, Napoleon did not inform Jerome that the campaign had begun for three days. He wrote to Berthier the following. He said, you will write to the king of Westphalia only on the morning of the 26th, that's three days after he crossed the Hindu, to inform him that the campaign had begun. This brings into question the program's grand strategy for the opening phase of the campaign. He thought of his hope that the Russian army would stop and offer battle as soon as he crossed the river into Russian territory. So for Clare, who uh, had no intention of giving battle to the French army, which was almost twice the size of his own. Should the Russian First Army retreat to the west, the Emperor had planned to <coughs> He intended to destroy the address of the Second Army of the West, which is to the South. To this end, he would have Jerome delay any attack on, <coughs> on Bagrasha uh, to, uh, to hold him in place as long as possible, while at the same time, <coughs> Marshal Louis Davou with a strong French corps, would march first east and then south against Baghdad, so that he would end up in between the two Russian armies. Jerome's role was to hold the Russians in place as long as possible, and then to harass them, if they can chance to retreat, harass them so as to give them full time to get into position. This was why Napoleon did not inform Jerome for three days after he had go after the campaign had begun, because he did not want Jerome pushing the Russian army to the east. 
shall remain with the army with our command while he awaits news from army headquarters. The pundit, who was already displeased with his brother's handling of the right wing of the army, had no time for the pettiness of the quarrel between his little brother and one of his generals. On the 4th of July, the 4th of July, the emperor wrote to the king, it is impossible to make war like this. You do not occupy yourself with the war. You speak of trivials and done. And I see that, and I see it with pain that everything is petty in your king. You are compromising the success of the entire campaign of the right. Napoleon had no intention now of answering the dynamics of correspondence. At the same time, he was increasingly displeased with Jerome. On the 5th of July, the emperor wrote to his brother, you, I'm sorry, wrote to Berthier, you will write to my, you will write to the king of Westphalia that I have received today dispatches he sent on the 3rd of July. You will inform him that I am extremely disappointed that he did not place all of his light infantry under the command of General Joseph Kwiatkowski to, uh, to pursue as vigorously as possible the Prussian army, the Russian army. Frustrated with his brother's handling of the right wing of the army, which he should have known uh, all along, Napoleon wrote the following uh, with instructions to, wrote the following to Dabu with instructions not to inform Jerome. What he sent was the following message. He said, His Majesty orders that. In the case of the union of the 5th, 7th, and 8th Corps of the Army, with the corps commanded by the Prince of Ecnio, that's Dabu, overall command will be given to the Prince of Ecnio as the senior general. Thus, when Jerome made contact with Dabu on the 15th of July, the Marshal sent to Jerome a copy of the order. Humiliated, angry, at being placed under the command of a near prince, the king of Westphalia immediately turned over command of his troops to his chief of staff, and quitting the army, he returned to his kingdom without waiting the uh, approval or permission from the emperor. It was not until the 6th of August that Van Damme received orders from Berthier. Monsieur le General, he wrote, I have put before the eyes of the Emperor the letters that you have written to me. Having not, having not been authorized to give up your command, His Majesty found it necessary to replace you. He has done so. As a result, you are no longer employed by the army, and you will return to France, where you will be at the disposal of the Minister of War. Without the cooperation of the Rome's wing of the army, General Bagnasha was skillfully able to avoid the route and join Buckley to continue the campaign. Napoleon lost the service of one of his better commanders, albeit troublesome. And at the same time, 